This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Hello and welcome to the Voice of Chennai. I'm Sanjay Pinto, joining you on this unique platform for all those citizen journalists out there who over the next 30 minutes will air their grievances directly to the Corporation Commissioner of Chennai, Rajesh Nakoni, who will join me live in the studio in a very short while from now. But today, we turn our attention to a problem that we face and crib about every day we travel. The state of our roads. As taxpayers, we have a right to complain, which we will. And the authorities have a duty to respond, which they will, or we will ensure they do. Not just respond, but also take action. But this is also prime time for news, so let's take two minutes to give you a broad sweep of all that's been happening in your city and across the country. India's Rohan Bopana lost to Brazil's world number 27 Thomas Pellucci on the opening day of the Davis Cup World Group playoff tie in Chennai. Bopana started the game high on confidence from an amazing run at the US Open. The five-set match lasted four and a half hours. Nurses employed by the government of Tamil Nadu held peaceful protests outside their hospitals. The nurses' union wanted their pay to be matched with salaries set by the central government. They also demanded permanent employment status. Britain's Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton performed driving stunts at the racing tracks near Chennai. Hamilton drove black and silver Mercedes. On board with him were winners of a contest conducted by mobile service provider Vodafone. Tamil actor Vikram was among them. The High Court in Allahabad has rejected a petition to delay the verdict on the disputed religious site in Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh. The court is to decide on September 24th whether the site belongs to the Muslim or Hindu religion. India will be on a high state of alert when the court delivers the verdict. Two civilians have died in fresh violence in Kashmir Valley. Four more protesters were injured when they clashed with police in Budgam district. The violence comes after two days of calm as the entire Kashmir Valley is under curfew for the past five days. Clashes were also reported in Baramulla district. High Court Judge C.V. Nagarjuna Reddy of Andhra Pradesh has reportedly resigned in protest after a boycott by lawyers had shut down courts in Telangana region for the past three days. The lawyers want an increased job quota in Telangana courts for the people of that region. It's the most common complaint, bad roads that crumble even after a silken drizzle or freshly laid ones that are almost immediately dug up by various agencies with a vengeance or so it seems. So we at NDTV Hindu decided to do something different. Our civic reporter Pratiksha Ramkumar drove through some key routes in the city and here are her nominations for the worst road in Chennai. Roads that lead to swanky IT offices and state-of-the-art libraries. It may be difficult to get your attention to the actual road here when there are so many potholes. But look carefully. This road named after the Ramakrishna Mutt in Mylapur, is just five years old. But it looks much more than its age. Thanks to the poor quality with which it was laid and the recent digging up by the Metro Water Board. The uh, dam, the repair work, work, work is going on continuously but not at a complete uh, till date. But uh, it will affect a uh, lot of vehicle, vehicle traffic in this area. Rumba customer, if you want to buy a four wheeler, we will go to the next one. We will go to the double wheel, we will go to the next one. 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 It will be tough It will be tough to choose the best, rather the worst road in Chennai. Here are the top contenders the Samatri Road, broken and battered. At the commercial hub of Chennai, you don't just get clothes of all shapes and cuts. The roads too have as many cuts. The best residential area in Chennai, Adyar, is a strong contender with its arterial LB road for the bumps eventually causing the traffic snarls. 
இந்த கார்னரில் ஓவர் டிராஃபிக் ஆகி வண்டிங்க போக முடியாமல் ரெண்டு ஹவர் வேலைக்கு போகிறவங்களாம் ஆட்டோ ஓட்டுறவங்க ரொம்ப ட்ரைவ் பண்ணுறது ரொம்ப கஷ்டமாக இருக்குது இங்கே இருக்கிற கவுன்சிலரு இங்கே இருக்கிறவங்க எம்பிங்க அவங்க தான் அவங்க நம்ம வந்து இது பண்ண அட்டன் பண்ணால் அவங்க ஆக்சன் ஆகிட்டா பரவாயில்ல த காசஸ் ஃபார் பேட் ரோட்ஸ் ஆர் மெனி மோஸ்ட் ஆர்டீரியல் ரோட்ஸ் கம் அண்டர் த பஸ் ரூட் ரோட் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் தி அலாங் வித் த ஜோனல் கமிஷனர் சே த இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் அண்டர் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் இன் த சிட்டி ஹாவ் ஹேம்பர்ட் ரிப்பேர்ஸ் regarding rk metro the metro water work is going on there uh, more or it's a bus route road if there is any patches uh, we will attend uh, with uh, zone people but the main task is uh, the metro water people has to complete their work then the brr will department will take up the relaying of the road sources in the roads department say that most of the city's roads are mainly laid with an asphalt base the life span of this material is a maximum of 5 years to replace them with concrete which is 4 times more durable is apparently stuck in red tape in chennai pratiksha ram kumar fandi tv hindu and the winners you can tell us that probably at the end of this bulletin but it's a bumpy ride for most of us every day many of you viewers have sent us pictures of bad roads in the city as you travel to work we are playing out this evidence take a look All right uh, guess what even the Chennai Corporation Commissioner is delayed uh, you know in his visit to our studio because he's also caught he's a victim of those bad roads himself the Chennai Corporation Commissioner is very close to our studio but he'll join us now on the phone line hopefully the signal will be fine uh, Mr Lakoni thank you very much sir for joining us every time a road is laid there are some agencies either the metro water or the electricity board is there no coordination sir between government agencies between the corporation between the telephone department you also have private players private telecom players now that they almost want to they can't stand the sight of a freshly laid road that they want to go and dig it up immediately so there are two kind of things one is the people is that can't work one is the road gets cut is a maintenance issue is not able to avoid in thing for example the big cable that lay, that we plan and we don't allow all right all right we'll we'll give mr lakoni time to reach our studio here but we'll slide into a st- short break now but after that we'll take all those questions all all those questions from the citizen journalists of chennai stay tuned